moments away as the drama awaits. From Atlanta, Georgia, the Magic taking on the Hawks. For the Magic, their sights were always set on the playoffs this year. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. The regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. D.A., take it away. Well, Aaron Gordon is progressing as a shooter. He said, what I've done is connected my three, my pull-up, and my free throw. They're all the same shot now. I'm going to keep trusting my skill, and eventually, it'll all come together. With my motor, I feel like whatever I'm doing out there, I can just keep going and going. Kevin? Tremendous athleticism. Thanks, D.A. A look at the starting group for the Magic. Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. And it's Isaac in at the three slot. And for Atlanta, Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Young and Herter make up the backcourt. And it's Len in at the center filling out the middle. the Hawks to start out. Here's Herder. He kicks it to Collins. Young outside. Five on the clock. No good with the layup. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. And Vucevic pulls it down. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Isaac passes to Ross. good on that one. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Hurt. And he uses the glass on the way. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. And it's Fultz with the ball for Orlando. Pass to Ross. Shot clock at five. Out to the wing. Isaac. And the three ball is good. Isaac's got five points so far. Boy, Jonathan Isaac, if he can consistently make shots, he has got such incredible potential. Here's Young, and it's blocked by Gordon. To the paint. Here's Vucevic, and Vucevic throws it down. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Young taking his time here. A shot off that time. And Orlando will come the other way. Here's Isaac. Collins grabs the miss. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Herder passes to Young. Len up top. The Hawks working the ball around. Young outside. Rebound by the Magic. Now, here's Fultz. And finished off by Fultz. Well, this has to contribute to Markel Fultz's confidence. Showing right there he can get through the defense. Herder passes to Collins. Back to Herder. And stolen by Gordon. Fast break. Here come the Magic. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. 
Well, the activity of Aaron Gordon, so solid at reading the opposition and taking his chances. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. for Atlanta. So for the Magic. Parker against Bamba. Lock at six. Parker kicks to Turner. Can they get it? The shot comes out and Orlando will come the other way. Augustine with it. Fournier. Over Parker. Fournier's shot is off. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for Atlanta. They trail by nine points. Now the pass to Jones. To the middle. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. Fournier kicks to Augustine. They get the rebound, and Jones sends it back, and he recovers it. They're getting beat up pretty badly out there. And I don't care what anybody says. You can't keep the status quo. If it ain't working, you've got to make some changes. I like this play. Jabari Parker's percentages go up when he operates foul line down. Back to Aminu. There's the dish to Fournier. And Jones sends it back. Hands of the ball out of bounds. Fournier last touched it. Twenty-three seconds left in the first quarter. And here is Parker. Deep three-point range. And so it's the Orlando Magic heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving a very few easy points. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And what do you guys think about the Magic here so far in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. I think across the board, a number of guys who've done a great job guarding multiple positions. Magic leading by seven. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. On the court right now for the Hawks. Jones is out there with Parker. Then it's Reddit. Then it's turn, and it's Parsons in at the small forward. Three on the clock for three, Fournier. Here's Bamba, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Mo Bamba is the prototypical modern NBA big, right? The size combined with the shooting ability. First trip to the line for him here. Shoot two. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. And Atlanta has possession. Eight point game. Turner dishes to Reddish. 11 feet out, and he hits it. Reddish has got his first basket. Well, Orlando.
Orlando shooting 38% from the field. A pretty weak showing for them. Pass to Fournier. It's stolen by Reddish. Inside, Parker. And the dunk by Parker. What a nice, aggressive move by Jabari Parker. Such a good finisher around the rim. Augustine passes to Aminu. Now here's Carter Williams. He's guarded closely. Just five on the clock. Augustine from outside. Excellent D there from Parker. The Hawks trail by four. That one misses. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Here's Carter Williams. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The Magic again can't hit. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter. Pass to Parsons. Back to Turner. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. They get it back. Bomba with the block. Well, this is one of Bomba's big time strengths. Send it back, Mo. Augustine against Turner. With the floater, and Jones sends it back. Reddish kicks to Parker. It's rebounded by Carter Williams. Defensive positioning so important, and he could not have played him better there. Pass to Aminu. Fournier with the ball. Aminu, the pass to Augustine. Not his night so far. That's miss number five with no makes. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Uh, how about Parsons able to finish strong at the rack? And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Only given up six here in this quarter. For three, Ross. Len grabs the board. For Atlanta, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. Hunter, the pass to Herter. Out to the right wing. The pass to Len. Now, here is Young. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Pass to Fultz. Ross with it, defended by Young. It's Vucevic, top of the key. Deep two from Ross. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Well, you can see why his teammates love playing with him. Vucevic willing to find the open guy. It's Young on the wing. Good on the baseline, Jay. Young's got his first points of the night. Well, this guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Passes it to Gordon. Over in the corner, Isaac. Back to Gordon. Fultz with the ball. I'm deep. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before a second violation. The Hawks trailing. Young outside. There's the triple. That's good. A tough shooting night. He's two for eight and looking for more. And the effortless shooting motion. Young's three-point jumper is just poetry in motion. He has it on automatic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. 
The Magic have converted one of two free throws so far today. Shooting two. That free throw good from Ross. And both free throws good for Ross. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. 30 seconds left now here in the second. Young. Here's Collins. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. The Hawks shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. That one misses for Collins. Orlando trailing here. Fires from 14. Gordon kicks to Isaac. Back to Gordon. Ross dishes to Gordon. Now Fultz. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep three-point range, tipped away. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. It's Atlanta. They finish off the second quarter with a 13 to 4 run. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Round one action of the playoffs continuing on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for the halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff Smith. Looking at the Hawks. They've hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Well, there was one pleasant surprise, and that was the bench. They gave them a big lift. Those guys came into the game, they did all the dirty work, and they scored baskets. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Magic. They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they want to play on the standing If they can keep it up in the second half, they may wear the other side out. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Here's Fultz. Tipping off the second half. Here's Steve Clifford's five. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. And it's Isaac in at the small forward position. Pass to Lamb. Kicks it to Young. It's stolen by Fultz. And here's the fast break. Makes it off the glass. Fultz has got the first basket of the second half. That one for the match. Boy, Markel Fultz in the open floor, capitalizing on the defense's mistake. Nicely done. And it's Jonathan Isaac with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. To the left wing. Here's Hurt. He's covered by Isaac. Just four to shoot. With the shot. Well, he's got tremendously long arms, so Jonathan Isaac's so good at contesting that shot. Cross. That's good. And now a three-point magic lead. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time, Greg. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. The shot's good from Young. Young's got seven points. He is 
smart at using the screen there to just create space. Young, very reliable in that pick and roll. The pass to Ross. To the inside. Here's Gordon. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got rebound number five here tonight. Bobbed up there for Collins. And it's blocked by Gordon. How about the timing of Aaron Gordon? This guy has got the ability to rise up and send it back. It's blocked. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Fultz. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Fultz has got four points in the quarter. Important points there. Got him on a nice play. Getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. Atlanta calls timeout. You know, I think one thing coach will address in this timeout right now is you're missing a lot of shots. Why not become more of a facilitator out there? Damian Jones is checked in for Alex Lynn. Jabari Parker comes in for Collins. Turner's checked in for Hunter. And it's Reddish in for Kevin Herter. Young for three. Aminu grabs the miss. Well, that's just inconsistency from him. And it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Carter Williams, the pass to Aminu. Outside Fournier. Here's Bamba, and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. And the Magic lead by five. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Parker finds Young. Time to break that ice cold streak. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. TJ Augustine picks one up. Yeah, it's just never easy trying to guard Young without fouling. Yeah, he is great at finding ways to create these calls. The Hawks have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt early. And he knocks down the first one. And, of course, all the comparisons to Steph Curry. Young just trying to be the best version of himself. And we've already seen the upside. Markel Fultz has checked in for Michael Carter-Williams. And so Young nails them both. Orlando leading by three. Here's Augustine. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Augustine's got his first points in this one. I'll tell you, they come out of the locker room. They are a step slow on the defensive end. Parker with the bounce pass. And here's Young from the arc. The Hawks again can't hit. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. One fifty-seven left in the third, and he's able to get it back. And he recovers it, and they're able to recover. Missed it, even after all those chances. Reddish the pass to Young. Dishes it to Turner. Six to shoot. Augustine against Parker. Rebound by the Magic. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Augustine finds Fournier. Now, here's Fultz. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. Fultz has got six points in the quarter. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Outside Turner. 
out to Parker, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will take it. Parsons checked in for Damian Jones. Vucevic checked in for Orlando. There's 45 seconds left here in the third quarter. Fournier against Turner. Outside Fournier. Six on the shot clock. Good D by Parker. Well, that's a case where a guy's trying to make a play, trying to take it up strong, but the defense was ready. And here's Fultz. Eight points for him. Here is Augustine. And Parker with the block. Wow, Jabari Parker, not known as a shot blocker, but twice on the pipe. For three, Ross, and no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's Orlando heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. Right back after this break. And while we can, now let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. And to me, G.A., you love the unselfishness, finding the best look, and it doesn't matter who's taking it. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Young and Herter make up the back. Collins is out there. Jabari Parker. And it's Hunter in at the three. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Now here's Ross. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got six rebounds in the game. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Left it goes, and the Magic lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Young. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. To the middle. Here's Vucevic, laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, don't you love to see Aaron Gordon make these kinds of decisions. This guy is fully capable of recognizing open teammates. Here's Herter in Atlanta again with the bucket. And it's Fultz with the ball for Orlando. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Forney trying to break loose and finished off by Fultz. Well, this is what's evolving over time, right? Markel Fultz running the pick and roll. Such a precise play. Here's Young. Gordon with the defensive effort. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. The Hawks trail by three. Young finds Parker. Shares over Fournier. Evan Collins slams it in. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. <laughs> in a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. Boy, how about the long strides of Aaron Gordon? If he's off the dribble drive, boy, that's a terrifying sight coming at you. And he makes the first. Uh, to me, Aaron Gordon has all the tools you'd want from a player on the rise. Very good establishing chemistry with his teammates, and all the necessary attributes are there to take a big jump. Alex Lenz checked in for Jabari Parker, and the Magic making a change here as well. Isaacs checked in. Both shots good from the strike. 
Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Herter. He's guarded by Ross. Herter passes the land and the dunk by land. Oh, that one fires up his teammates. Lynn's passion leads to the monster dunk. Yes. Now here's Ross. He's guarded close. No one near fault as he lets it go. No good on the three. To take the lead. And the shot is long. Orlando leading. From 11 feet away. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Alex Len picks one up. Well, you love that Mark Cole Fultz has the ability to draw the defense's hand and get himself to the foul line. First free throw is good. Well, you think into Markel Fultz's early part of his career, he was under such scrutiny as the number one overall pick. This guy starting to prove how valuable he can be. He's off on the second. Well, they should be looking at a three-point lead. Hopefully for them, that miss won't cost them. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And Orlando called for the foul. Shooting two. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. An athletic forward with, with a versatile skill set. Hunter has also proven he can come up big in big moments. And it's tied up with that one. And it's Fultz with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Pass to Gordon, to the paint, Vucevic, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Wow, Vucevic with the big-time delivery. The Montenegrin says, that's my shot. Herter passes to Young to take the lead. Orlando grabs the miss. Vucevic has got six rebounds now in the game. Down low, here's Gordon. Nails the baby hook. And the Magic lead by four. Aaron Gordon wanting the ball with the game and the balance in crucial moments. How big time is he? The feed to Hunter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. No question he got bumped on that shot. Hunter! Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And the second of two is good. That narrows the lead down to just three. If he hits all of those, they're feeling a lot more comfortable. But now, still a one possession game. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. The basket good off the assist from Fultz. Eight points for Vucevic. Well, Vucevic has got a number of moves he can go to. So comfortable this close to the cup. One left side. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Fultz. Shoots from 14. He can't hit that time. And Atlanta will come the other way. It's Young on the wing. Good! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Game tightening up. No problem. Put the ball in Young's hand and let the young fella go to work. Volts kicks to Isaac. 
Let's it go from 14. There's 39 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound. Here's Herter. Comes up empty down low. Here's Fultz. Got it. You gotta be in just flat out awe of this young man's ability. What a great understanding of the magnitude of the moment. Atlanta calls timeout. They're behind by five. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Arkel Fultz. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Lloyd Pierce was saying to the team. He told him, look, guys, we're running out of time. We're going to make a move. It's got to be now. Are you guys ready to make a move? They all nodded, and he said, then go take it, Kevin. And now we've got the intentional foul. First one drops, and that increases their lead to six. What you love about Nikola Vucevic is every night you know he's going to play hard, and he's going to do whatever it takes to win. You love playing with teammates like that, guys. Well, just knocking them down from the charity stripe, extending the lead. Simple basketball. Atlanta calls timeout. They trail by seven. 19 seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? A lot to talk over and improve on for next time. Well, maybe it could wait until after the game because this one is over. Parsons for three. It's hauled in by the Magic. Carter Williams with it. So it's Orlando winning this one. A pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinal. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.